Today, the entire PC hardware industry just changed. A new dystopian is here. Terrible news for GPUs, and AMD's new monster gaming CPU is official with a release date. Welcome everyone to Gamer Mel. First up for today, if you remember not too long ago, Intel and Nvidia announced a strategic partnership to work together on future chips. More importantly, Nvidia agreed to buy a ton of Intel stock, something absolutely no one saw coming. And if you thought that there's no way a deal like this could get through, not only did regulators agree to it, but Nvidia has officially gone ahead and purchased the Intel stock worth an unreal $5 billion. <gasps> Specifically, they bought over 214.7 million Intel shares, and they paid $23.28 per share, once again, bringing it to right around $5 billion. As far as what kind of impact this could have, it's still really tough to say for sure, but it's definitely not good news for AMD. For starters, it gives Nvidia even more power over AI. We know that they originally tried to buy out ARM, and I'd actually argue that this could almost be worse than that. Now Nvidia has access to x86 like they've never had before, so they don't need to build up ARM or anything like that. They can compete directly with AMD on the same architecture. They may have access to Intel's roadmaps before anyone else. They also now have an incentive to make their GPUs work better on Intel than AMD. That's one fear that I definitely have, and I'm talking platform level optimizations and things like that. It's the largest GPU maker teaming up up with essentially the second largest CPU maker. Now, don't get me wrong, unlike that ARM deal, Nvidia is only buying around 4% of Intel, so they don't have a controlling share or anything like that, but incentives have absolutely been changed, and ultimately, the PC hardware industry just changed forever. Next up for today, ChatGPT is apparently working on prioritizing sponsored content, meaning ads. And while this may not sound all that bad at first, given we've had ads and things like search engines for years now, this, in my eyes, is so much worse. As you can see right down here, it says OpenAI is allegedly still working on adding ads to ChatGPT, with sources saying staff are discussing ways to bake them into the chatbot's responses. According to the information, the AI company is looking to create a new type of digital ad rather than simply copying what existing search and social media companies are running. This is possible because OpenAI can use historical chat data to serve ads that are highly relevant to users' interests. That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard. And it goes on to say, quote, as ChatGPT becomes more capable and widely used, we're looking at ways to continue offering more intelligence to everyone, blah, blah, blah. So the reason why I say that this is so much worse than ads in search is that unlike Google, where they provide sponsored suggestions at the top of your search, you can always scroll down to see content from other people. ChatGPT's goal is to be the answer for you. It's wanting to be the end-all be-all, just like Google's chatbot and every other one. But if you interject ads into the mix, you'll create terrible incentives like an AI chatbot not wanting to tell you the whole truth. And unlike Google, you can't really double check check it. This isn't the end of the world when we're talking about what phone you want to buy or something like that. But what happens when government or political entities get involved? Is the political figure that pays OpenAI the most the one that wins? I know I don't usually discuss things like this on the channel, but this potential from OpenAI is a major issue. I've always been worried about AI taking over for search. I mean, we've already seen that ChatGPT is destroying people's critical thinking skills. So if people can't think for themselves and ChatGPT has incentives other than the truth will be prime targets for propaganda from anyone. Maybe the person who pays OpenAI the most? I don't know, but it's really, really bad. Imagine what happens if AI starts taking all the views from media companies, journalists, social media sites, etc., where people just use AI for all of their information. We could reach a point where no one can even find out if it's wrong, and that's a world I never want to live in. But let me know what you think about this. Am I being ridiculous or is this a real issue? Let me know down in the comments below.
And next up, it looks like both AMD and NVIDIA are set to raise GPU prices and to continue raising them. As you can see right down here, this story originally comes from the Board Channels Forum, where they state, quote, AMD GPUs for AIB brands may see earlier price increases starting in January, followed by multiple increases over the next few months. NVIDIA GPUs for AIC brands are expected to start increasing in February. In December, some brands made small increases while others did not. Whether each brand enforces a price increase in January will be decided by the AIC vendors themselves. Basically, according to this, price increases are coming to GPUs from both AMD and Nvidia. And while some may not up prices in January, it sounds almost guaranteed to happen starting in February. But it's actually not that initial start of the price increase that's really a big deal. It's right here where it's has followed by multiple increases over the next few months. Meaning, if this is right, both AMD and Nvidia will be raising prices multiple times over the next few months, so things are even worse than what we originally thought. And lastly for today, it's official. AMD's fastest gaming CPU yet is coming, and it's coming soon. As you can see right down here, it says Dell has published a press release confirming an AMD Ryzen 7 9850X3D CPU option for its recently updated Alienware Area 51 desktop gaming PCs. And we actually see this right down here. It states, working closely with AMD, Alienware is taking the Area 51 even further in Q1 2026 by offering configurations with the highly anticipated Ryzen 7 9850X3D processor powered by 3 vCache technology. This upgrade delivers even more headroom for gamers, pushing the latest AAA titles at maximum settings, reinforcing Area 51's position as a no-compromise platform built for the future. So the leaks were right, and it's about as official as it can get. Once again, this is from an official press release from Dell. So the 9850X3D is coming. Not only that, but we have even more confirmation from HW Monitor, which just added full support for the new chip. So yeah, it's the real deal. And as Dell stated, it's specifically coming in Q1 of 2026, which means the leaks claiming that AMD would announce this at CES are almost certainly correct. When it comes to that chip, don't forget that it's an A-core 16-thread CPU with 96 megabytes of L3 cache and a 120-watt TDP just like the regular 9800X3D. The difference is that it gets quite a bit higher clocks at 5.6 GHz instead of 5.2. At the end of the day, it's definitely going to be the fastest gaming CPU out there when it's released. But the question I think as to whether it's going to be a great chip will ultimately boil down to price. I wouldn't expect an amazing price though, because at least until a potential X3D 2.0 chip is released, it's going to be the absolute fastest gaming chip on the market. But it can be too expensive because it's still just an 8-core 16-thread part. Time, as always, will tell.